In this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest news from CES Day 2. Similar to Ray-Bans, the Holiday Smart Glasses feature proactive AI assistance and a near-eye display. The display would show information within the user's field of view. Holiday says their smart glasses will be available within the first quarter of this year after CES. Holiday did tell us that the price is somewhere between $400 to $500, which it is a little bit more pricier by $100 to $200 of Meta the Ray-Bans and Solo Ergos. In the upper right of the glasses frame is their digital window, which is the smallest and lightest near eye display module. This invisible but transparent screen is 3.5 inches and can be viewed in bright sunlight. These smart glasses contain an AI assistant that analyzes conversations, answers questions, and gives the user insight without prompting it to do so. And it also supports AI translation up to 40 different languages, live navigation, voice to note transcription, and synchronized lyrics when listening to music. In order for these fancy AI features to be used, it has to be connected to your phone through Bluetooth. Holiday claims that their smart glasses can be used with a prescription and without any lenses at all. Holiday claims that their smart glasses provides up to 8 hours of battery life and it weighs 35 grams. It's available in matte black and turret shell. HDMI 2.2, also now known as HDMI Ultra 96, eliminates audio sync issues forever. Not only this, but also it increases the bandwidth from 4.95 gigabytes to 96 gigabytes. The Trade Association confirmed that the higher resolutions and refresh rates will be supported and high quality options will be provided. HDMI 2.2 supports 4K from now 120Hz to 480Hz, 8K at 240Hz, and 10K at 120Hz. As larger TVs continue to be sold on the market, HDMI continues to push forward advancing HDMI cables. HDMI continues to strive to improve their audio and video synchronization, as well as using LIP, also known as Latency Indication Protocol. HDMI did mention that we'll be experiencing tariff issues as well as extensive certification for anti-counterfeit packaging for the Ultra 96 HDMI cable. Currently, there is no word about HDMI 2.2's performance on eARC or CEC. HDMI 2.2 will be available throughout the first half of 2025 and later on to other devices later this year. Satoshi's M4 Mac Mini Hub will launch in limited quantities for $99.99 on February 17, 2025 on their online store. The hub is made out of aluminum with a soft touch silicone coating. Designed to expand the M4 with two front facing USB 3.2s and a USB A 2.9 ports as well as an SD card reader. The back corner of the Satoshi Hub allows users easier access to the M4's power button. To connect the hub to the Mac Mini M4, use a USB-C cable integrated with the hub while maintaining the M4's airflow. A removable panel on the bottom of the hub allows users to expand the M4 storage using an NVMe SSD up to 4 terabytes. AMD have showcased at CES the next generation of GPUs that will be available by sometime within the first quarter of this year. AMD have not released specification details or pricing about the Radeon RX 9070 XT or even the RX 9070. They did release that these GPUs are released in the RDNA 4 architecture. AMD claims that this will provide a significant boost in AI using ray tracing performance and an upgraded media encoding. AMD seems to appear to suggest that the 9070 series will offer similar performances to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti and RTX 4070 Super. A new startup called Shelly have released their Wall Display X2 at CES this year. The Wall Display 2 contains a 6.95 inches touchscreen that retrofits with your current household switches becoming a smart panel where you can control multiple different smart light switches, thermostats, and a lot more. Through Shelly's Wall Display 2, you're able to customize scenes, play music, and show information like real-time power usage and the weather. Shelly's Wall Display X2 works with all Shelly compatible devices as well as Home Assistant, including Bluetooth and Wi-Fi 7. Currently, there is no word from Shelly when the release date or pricing will be, but they did tell us that it will be available internationally sometime in the first quarter of this year. Tapo's Palm Key Smart Door Lock allows users to use their fingerprint, pin code, or scan their palm to get into their house or office. 
Tapo says that in order for it to scan your palm, it has to be about 10 inches away from the reader. It will work no matter how dirty or how wet your finger or palm is. Through AI, it's able to assess the pattern within your palm or even your finger. Although this new technology trend have been introduced by Philips and Eufy. Currently, there is no word from Tapo about the release date or pricing. This year, Ring has announced that they are seeking to move and upgrade all of their cameras to 2K video resolution, even if you own one already. If you already own the Floodlight Cam Pro or Spotlight, don't worry. Ring will be pushing out an update by January 8th, 2025 to update your current Floodlight Cam or Spotlight up to 2K video resolution. This allows Ring users to experience a sharper image coming out of their security camera, even if they already own one. Later this year, Kitty will be partnering with Ring to create a wired smart smoke detector. This will be ranging between $50 to $80. It will be launched in April at the Home Depot and at other retailers later this year. You are able to connect this alarm with the Ring app when a fire or carbon monoxide alarm awaits. It will send a notification via the Ring app to notify you. Unlike the first alert Z-Wave smoke detector and carbon dioxide alarms, this alarm does not require you to purchase a Ring alarm hub or obtain a subscription to receive these critical alerts. The Hybrid Cam Duo security camera by Tapo features a second pan tilt zoom camera that moves and zooms with a solar panel. Both cameras capture in 4K and they're both processed and stored locally on the device. Tapo's latest camera utilizes AI to sort people, vehicles, and animal detection. Tapo did not release to us when it will be available on the market or the exact price that they will be selling it for. Recently, Kami has released a Kami Fall Detect Camera. Kami's Fall Detect Camera has a field of view of 87 degrees and a rotation of 360 degrees. The owner of the camera can allow other users to get an alert if a fall has been detected or if they simply want to just check in. This camera does include two-way audio communication. Automatic calls to emergency services if there are no responses, it would cost an additional $45 per month. The Kami Fall Detect camera retails for $99 on the market. However, a Kami Vision subscription is required if you want to utilize the fall detection features Kami provides. Currently, Kami have not given us a word about when it will get released. Ecobee has released an even cheaper smart thermostat this year at CES, retailing for $130. Ecobee's latest thermostat can adjust based on your schedule with a full color touchscreen. Through Ecobee's smart thermostats, it can make sure your home reaches its optimal temperature by the time you return home depending on how long it takes to heat up or cool down your home. This thermostat can be paired to Ecobee's smart sensors in order to optimize the temperature in specific rooms. You're able to change the temperature in Ecobee's app and is mostly compatible with most HVAC systems. This smart thermostat from Ecobee is now called the Ecobee Essential and it will be replacing the $150 Ecobee 3. This makes Ecobee now a rival towards the Google Nest thermostat. Due to being $130 cheaper, although both Nest and Ecobee does not support Matter on its products at the moment. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe here for more tech related videos and watch this video down here. It might be something cool for you. I'll see you soon.